Ladies and gentlemen, there is one thing which I love with Rigathi Gashagwa. Rigathi Gashagwa is a man who speaks his mind. <laughs> Waliliza na kunilea na kunifudisha kuongeaga ukweli. Wale ambaye wako na shida na mambo ya ukweli mzoee na wenu wa rais mapema. Sasa mnataka tuongee ukweli ya mwongo? Ukweli. Wa Kenya wanataka ukweli ya mwongo? Ukweli. Sasa hii wafanyikazi wa serikali wanajaribu kutishana na sisi. Sisi tukisema shirika limeanguka na kila mtu anajua limeanguka na tunatoa sababu. Wewe unasema hiyo sababu si ya ukweli. Na wewe ndio chama. Si utuambie imeanguka kwa nini? As a matter of fact, you can always get the thinking of William Ruto, the thinking within Kenya Kwanza just by paying close attention to the statements by Rigathi Gashagwa. Rigathi Gashagwa yesterday led Kenya Kwanza brigades to some thanksgiving ceremony in Wasini Bisho. And I paid very close attention to Rigathi Gashagwa's statements. But there's this particular message he had for those who are planning to abandon Raila Molo Dinga and Azimio for William Ruto just because William Ruto is now the president of the Republic of Kenya. I listened very closely and I also interpreted that, that statement to be an indirect attack on Musalia Mudavadi. Just listen in to Rigadi Gashagwa very, very briefly because I want us to look into this particular statement. Unavuna uliopanda, sindiyo? Si hali tusaidia? Sasa amepata speaker. Sasa wegini wanataka kuvuna pahali ya wako panda. Sasa wale walipanda kwanza wavune. Tukibalizana na wale wote walipanda wakisha vuna, wale wako panda, tuachukue ile tabaki. No, basi Rigadi Gashagwa. And Rigathi Gashagwa is very clear that in their government, they will reward those who stood with them. They will reward those who brought something to the table. In the past few weeks now, since William Ruto was declared the president of the Republic of Kenya, we've seen so many leaders trying to join Kenya Kwanza. I can mention some of them. David Ochieng, the MDG party leader, the member of parliament for Ugenya, joined Kenya Kwanza after the elections. Professor Kibutha Kibwana joined Kenya Kwanza after the election. Ali Roba joined of UDM, joined Kenya Kwanza after the election. Kiraitu Murungi, the former Meru governor, joined Kenya Kwanza after he lost his bid of retaining his seat in Meru. So if you listen to that Rigadi Gashagwa statement, it was actually meant to people like the ones have mentioned. But if you listened deeply, <coughs> there are other messages which he was sending. So in this video, I want us to look at those messages. Before we do that, in case you are watching the channel for the first time, I want you to take a second or two, click that subscribe button, so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is now. Let us get back to the main issue. What message was Rigadi Gashagwa trying to send out? <clears throat> for me, I listened and paid very close attention to Rigadi Gashagwa's statement. And number one, I tend to think that it was a coded message to Musalia Mdavadi. Just yesterday, I did a video about Musalia Mdavadi being sidelined in Kenya Kwanza. And the mere fact that Musalia Mdavadi was absent in this particular event where he was supposed to be, maybe Rigadi Gashagwa was talking to him. Rigadi Gashagwa stated very clearly that you will only reap utavuna ulicho kipanda. Muslim Davadi never delivered. And Rigathi Gashagwa gave the example of Wetangula 
who delivered. In fact, most of the speakers who spoke were like, if Wetangula had not joined Kenya Kwanza, what would have happened? Just listen very, listen very briefly again to Rigedi Gashagwa so that you can understand what I'm saying here. Unavuna uliopanda, sindio? Si alitusaidia? Sasa amepata speaker. Sasa wengine wanataka kuvuna pahali wako panda. Sasa wale walipanda kwanza wavune. Tukimalizana na wale wote walipanda wakishavuna wale wako panda tuwachukue ile tabaki. So for me I'm convinced that indirectly Rigedi Gashagwa was attacking Musalia Mudavadi. That's number one. Number two I also tend to think that Rigedi Gashagwa is sending out a strong message to those who are planning to join Kenya Kwanza that they have a reward system and that reward system will start with those who stood with the Ruton. And if you listened to his speech, he was like, they were humiliated, they were harassed, they were embarrassed. So which means they are not going to allow those people who suffered in the hands of Uru and Raila or even in the hands of the handshake and the deep state, they will not allow them to suffer when rewarding those who came late. I think that's the message which is coming out very clearly. And one of the things which people have always accused Uhuru of, and even Raila of, is the reward system. That, for example, Raila Odinga reward system in his party does not really favor those who stood with them. And Rigeti Kashagwa is reminding everybody that for them, they are going to reward those who stood with them first. And once they are done, if something will be left, that's when now people like David Ochieng, people like Kibutha Kibwana, people like Ali Roba, people like Kireiti Murungi, will then be allowed on the table. So that's number two. Number three, I also tend to think that Kenya Kwanza is already full. And allowing more people on board would mean aging out others. And this is what Kenya Kwanza is not keen on. For example, if you look at coastal region, for example, in the coastal region, Kenya Kwanza is already full. Full, full to the brim. To an extent that my friend Hassan Omar has not been appointed to the cabinet. The list of permanent secretaries, I didn't see his name in that list. My friend Hassan Omar. So how then would you allow someone else, let's say Joho, how then would you allow Joho to come again in Kenya Kwanza? How will you manage the expectation of those who stood with you. And those are the people Rigedi Gashagwa is talking about. Rigedi Gashagwa is basically sending a message to anybody who is joining Kenya Kwanza to join, but know so well that already the ship is full. So that's number, number three. Number four, Rigedi Gashagwa is also telling these people who are now planning to ditch Raila Odinga. People like my friend... Uh, Owidi, Mwali Mwawidi, <laughs> Odoyo of Kabondo Kasipul, the guy who has been making a lot of unnecessary noise, you know, just to please Ruto, is telling such kind of individuals that you are opportunist, that Kenya Kwanza will not have a space for you. And the message is clear, the message is direct, and the message should reach any other person. That for them in Kenya Kwanza, they are not going to allow anybody, just for the sake of it, to join them. Because joining at this hour is being opportunistic. They required them. Some of them never supported them. It's late. And lastly, I think, is also telling these people that they are likely to have a space and that if they are going to be allowed in Kenya Kwanza, then their role is going to be limited to support of the government. The truth of the matter is that as we speak, as we speak, Kenya Kwanza has already elected the Speaker of the National Assembly, 
they've already elected the speaker of the senate the only thing which is remaining is the vetting of permanent secretary of uh, cabinet secretaries and uh, i think also permanent secretaries the bsci director which is ongoing so if you are joining and you are a member of parliament your role will be confined to to that and the message is actually coming out very strongly i don't know what you think but that's my take let me hear your thoughts bye bye